Hey guys, this is the Land Rover S. I used to know it. Rough, tough, simple, and of course, it's an all aluminum body on a frame. This is the Land Rover as I knew it. The Land Rover that was the toughest vehicle and not very comfortable, but it could go anywhere and do anything. This Defender is totally different from the Land Rover Defender that I grew up with. Well, this new Land Rover Defender is also the go anywhere, do anything type of vehicle, but it looks so different. And of course, it costs a lot more. And guess how much this baby costs? Well, there are two variants they bring in here. They have a 2-litre, 300 PS vehicle, and that will also deliver 400 newton meters. And then there is a 3-litre. Now, both these engines are gasoline, yeah? And the 3-litre engine delivers 400 PS and 560 newton meters of torque. So these are obviously turbocharged vehicles and it features all-wheel drive and this new one is not built on a ladder frame but it is a monocoque that means the body is special built as a single unit not not a frame on which a body is put so according to Land Rover this is one of the strongest Land Rovers they have ever built so it's very very rigid and the weight of this vehicle is between 2.2 to 2.3 tons. So it's heavy. Although a lot of the material is aluminum. Wheels are now 20 inch and the brakes are ventilated this both in the front and the back and they are this all round. So this vehicle also has air suspension which lowers the car when you're going fast and when you're going through uh, dirt or bad conditions, it can raise the suspension twice, okay? One level at plus 75 mm and the next one is another 70 mm on top of that and that will allow you to pick your way through very rocky and rough terrain without damaging the body. Now, there are many other things that uh, actually what I would say they come from the Range Rover because that is the luxury element of the vehicle and that includes side steps that come out as you open the door okay see the side step and of course a very luxurious and full leather interior now in terms of size this is a little bit over five meters it's 5018 mm that's the size of a Hilux yeah uh, in terms of length and the width is 2.1 meters so it's actually quite wide I think it includes the mirrors and in terms of height, it's almost two meters tall. So this is a very tall vehicle. And uh, so don't be fooled by the, what you call the proportions of the vehicle. It is big. And the wheelbase itself, which actually determines the interior space, is in excess of three meters. It's 3022 mm. And ground clearance is a maximum of 291 mm high. And that is really very very good ground clearance in terms of price the land rover sets a new standard again for the defender the two liter version is 798 800 and the three liter version is 988 800 so from a humble workhorse the land rover defender has become a luxury vehicle very very exclusive the Defender is built on a totally new platform. It's mostly aluminum and uh, it is actually a monocoque, no more a body on frame construction. And uh, despite it being aluminum, it's still very strong, of course. The roof capacity can carry 300 kilos and the towing capacity of this vehicle is three and a half tons. And the loading capacity is a total of 900 kilos so this is a very very robust and very very strong vehicle ground clearance is a whopping 291 mm in total and uh, this vehicle has full off-road capabilities including a wading depth of 900 mm 
suspension is uh, electronic air suspension and at high speeds it lowers down to give you better handling and aerodynamics and on off-road terrain you can actually raise the suspension using the lifter you can lift up the suspension by 75 mm and also in addition to that there's also a body lift of 70 mm for going over extremely rough patches dampers are adaptive and they read information from the road as much as 500 times per second and adjust the dampers according to the requirements wheels are 20 inch and those brakes are massive yes they are massive brakes and they are aluminum calipers they will look just as good on a racing car yes the vehicle has grown quite a bit and you can see inside let's have a closer look at the suspension yep that's that's the air suspension you see inside and you can see that it is a double wishbone arrangement so this vehicle will be comfortable and handle well as well okay those are the aluminum calipers and they look like they are four pot along the sides you have a five door arrangement and uh, it looks very very nice and neat and over here on the a pillar what looks like decoration is not decoration because this is actually a built-in snorkel so this vehicle is ready for off-road even off the showroom okay that's the intake for the snorkel here's where the air goes in on a reverse uh, flow Here's what sitting in the front passenger seat is like. Wow, this is really, really luxurious. Very nice. Leather. It's so different. But you see, you still have elements of the door panels here. Door panels still have some metal here that makes it look very Land Rover. Yeah. And because uh, the old tradition of having parts of the door metal here is carried through so they have actually done a very good job to preserve the tradition of Land Rover yet at the same time introduce all the elements of luxury all this is really nice what happens when you open the rear door yeah it comes out too all right all right so even at the back here you still you still get to touch the doors and then i i love these little screws here you can actually unscrew the door panel and at the back yes it's really nice and uh, plenty of headroom so if you're tall there isn't it isn't a problem and uh, getting in and out of this car is good because there's also a grab handle here everything looks really really nice and macho doesn't it yeah this is a man's vehicle man Okay, Zachary is going to open the door for us. Yep, go ahead, Zach. Okay, there's a single door and it opens up very nice and wide. And uh, let's go in closer. Oh, it's a 4 plus 2 or 5 plus 2 seater at the back. Okay, so we are... This is... Oh, there's a little parcel tray and... Well, wow, this is really nice and... It's plastic though, but... It's also in my Freelander. Oh, it's also in her Freelander. Okay, so that is it's very Land Rover. And... Oh, okay. This is the backrest for the seat. You pull on this string, it goes down and... Yeah, it falls flat. What is this? Oh, this is the tonneau cover. It was just lying down there. Well, let's just fold it away. And we do this to the seat again. Pull and it goes down. And there you go. Wow. That's nice. Yep. <laughs> it's nice and big. We will see a soft close of the rear door. Go, Zach. Okay, Zachary is helping us with it.
you're supposed to put it near there and then you close. Try again. Okay, go near. You're supposed to suck it in, right? Go near. Ah, <laughs> okay. Okay, these are the rear wheels and they are of course 20 inch and uh, wow, the suspension members are aluminium and uh, this looks like a single uh, floating caliper also made of aluminium and the rear discs are also ventilated. Yes, they are ventilated discs and looks like a multi-link rear suspension arrangement. Okay, here I am in the driver's seat. It looks pretty nice. And visibility is fantastic. Uh, they have actually quite a thick uh, A-pillar, but they built it this way so that when you look at it visually, it is actually, it actually looks a lot thinner than it is. So you can actually see out. Instead of making it wide, they made it slim, but thicker that way. Electrical seats. The sitting position is quite good. The gear lever is uh, sort of like, it's not exactly on the dashboard, not exactly in the center console, sort of like in the middle. And there are two dial controls here. The key is not here, so we don't know what they are, but you have here your parking brake, reverse, N and D. And of course, there's a sport mode. No pedal shift. Uh, two toggles here for controlling and the steering wheel looks like this is looks like looks like aluminium yeah painted aluminium and this is leather bound of course at the front is quite modern and with lots of places for you to keep your knickknacks like for example if you're going on an off-road trip you would have a lot of things to be carried around and there's a little cubby hole here and of course the USB and this car is uh, connected yeah, by Apple Play or Android Auto. Lots of storage as usual for Land Rover and interior is nice, simple but classy. Okay, this is the floor mat and of course it's anchored to the floor but underneath here it's all uh, very easy to clean rubberized plastic. It's actually designed to get wet because this is only one small piece of carpet that can be removed and the rest of it is actually a rubber mat. But high quality rubber lah. Okay, the engine is longitudinally mounted. That means not south as in a uh, rear wheel drive configuration but of course this vehicle is uh, all wheel drive yeah and it's either a 2 liter or 3 liter gasoline engine and the 3 liter engine is uh, a mild hybrid so guys that's the Land Rover Defender thanks very much we hope you like the video we want to take this up Gunting one day all right till we meet again bye bye